Hey, how's it going? This is Ed. If you want to achieve the best Xbox 360 emulation on the Steam Deck, this video is for you. The Xbox 360 emulation situation on the Steam Deck is complicated. First, there is no native Linux version of the emulator yet. Second, the Emuldeck pre-configured Xenier will apply the same configuration settings for all games. But the reality is different games may require different emulator configurations. So if you want to have the best Xbox 360 emulation on the deck, the standalone Xenier is the way to go. We can apply game-specific settings with standalone Xenier. Furthermore, you don't have to deal with the Steam ROM Manager, Parsers, and Email Deck update anymore. The Xbox 360 emulation is far away from perfect on the Steam Deck. By tweaking around the emulator settings, some games will be playable with a small degree of glitches. For example, in Gears of War 2 and 3, we have to use game save file from a Windows device to overwrite saves on the Steam Deck in order to get out of the completely dark screen. Even with this fix, we will still have graphical glitch on both games, but I think they are playable at this level. In order to play the Blue Dragon on the Steam Deck, we have to set the GPU equal to D3D12 instead of Vulkan. Of course, not every single game will require specific tweak. Game like Lost Odyssey just plays perfectly well with the default setting. If you would like to get the best possible performance, let's set up the standalone Xenier on your Steam Deck. Let's create a dedicated folder on your Steam Deck for the Xbox 360 emulation. I prefer to have all my emulation games on the SD card, so I will create the folder on my SD card, but you can also create on your internal SSD. I will call this folder as Xbox 360 emulation but you can name anything you like. Then go inside this folder and create another folder called template. We will use everything inside this folder as our Xbox 316 emulation template. I will show how this works later on. Then go inside the template folder and create another folder called game. This folder will be used to store our game ROM file. Next, use your internet browser and go to the Xenier Canary website. The website is linked under this video description. So on this page, click Canary Experiment on the right side. Then click Xenier Canary zip file on this page. The download should be started just in few seconds. Then open this file in your downloads folder. Then extract this folder in your downloads folder. Next, go inside the Xenier Canary folder you just extracted. Then select the .exe file and cut it. Then go back to the template folder we just created and paste this .exe file inside the template folder. Then select Xenier Canary .exe file. Then right-click and select Add to Steam. Next, go to the desktop and open up your Steam. Once the Steam is opened, just go to the library. The Xenia Canary EXE file is under your game list now. Click on the Xenia Canary EXE file, then click the gear icon on the right side. Select Properties, then go to Compatibility. Check this box here and then make sure it's set to Proton Experimental. Then close this window and click the Play button here. Wait for about 20 seconds, then you will get this message. Just click yes here. Now the emulator window will open up. Also a web page will open, so just close this web page here. Okay, so here is our emulator window, but we are not going to do anything at this moment. Just close this window here too. Also delete the Xenier Canary EXE file from your Steam library. There is no need to keep this file in your Steam library. Then just go back to your template folder and you will see some new files have been generated. Next, double click on the Xenier Canary configure file. Then you will get a window like this. Just don't be panicked when you see this. Move down on this page and then under the display section, you will see force screen equal to force here. So here we have to change the force to true. Make sure you do this change here, otherwise your game wouldn't launch in the full screen mode. And then move down on this page, you will see the GPU equal to any. 
So here I will change any to Vulcan. Just to be clear, this change here is game based. Some game will perform better with Vulcan. Some will be with D3, D12. So you have to change this between Vulcan and D3, D12 and see which one performs better for your game. And then click the save button on the top and close this file. So at this point, we have completed the template folder setup process. Then we select this template folder and right click and select duplicate here. Then rename this duplicated folder into your Xbox resetting game name. So I will name this folder as my Xbox resetting game Lost Odyssey. If you have a second game to play, just select the template folder again and create another duplicate. Then rename this duplicated folder into the second game name. Here I will name this to Gears of War 3. Then I will go inside my Lost Odyssey folder and rename the Xenia Canary EXE to your game name. Here I will name it to Lost Odyssey EXE. Select the Lost Odyssey EXE file. Right click, then select Add to Steam. Next, go inside the game folder and copy your game ROMs into this folder here. Here I will copy my game ROM from my external hard drive. You don't have to do exactly what I am doing here. The main goal here is to move your game ROMs into the games folder. So now I am copying the Lost Odyssey game ROMs from my external hard drive into the game folder. Once the game ROM is copied over, then select the game ROM and right click. Then select copy location. Now we can close this window and open the Steam. Under your Steam library, you will find the Lost Odyssey EXE is here. And then click the gear icon on the right. Then select properties. In the first box here, remove the EXE extension here. Just leave the game name. Then go to the launch option box. Right click. Then select paste. Next, add a double quotation mark at the very last. Then move the mouse cursor all the way to the front and add a second double quotation mark. That's all the change we need to do on this page. Then click the compatibility on the left side. Check this box here and then make sure it's set to Proton Experimental. Then we can close this window. If you switch back to the gaming mode at this point, you should be able to launch the Xbox 360 game from the gaming mode. But here I will repeat the same process for the second game. I prefer to have two games as demonstration in this video. So you guys will have a better understanding how to add the third game and fourth game and so on. I'm not going to explain this repeat process here, but I will still show each step here. Okay, after repeating the same process, now I have two Xbox 360 games added into my Steam library. Now I can just switch to the gaming mode. Once you get into the gaming mode, just press the Steam button, then go to the library. Under no Steam game, you should be able to find those two Xbox 360 games we just added. The first thing I'm going to do here is to add the game artwork, just make the game looks better in the gaming mode. The tool I am using here for the game artwork is called Steam Grid DB. It's a Steam Deck plugin. Once we have game art added, everything just looks much better. Now we can just launch the Xbox 360 game from the gaming mode. You will get this message for the first time. Just click yes here. And then you will get this web page opened automatically. Just don't worry, this will only show up for the first time. Just press button B, it will close. Now the game should load it up successfully.
Then I tested the second game, Gears of War 3. When the game loaded up the first time, you will go through the same process as the first game. Then the game will just load it up successfully. The last thing I would like to show here is the game connection. Even with the standalone emulator, we can still create a collection for different gaming system. This will help us managing the emulation game inside the Steam library. To create new collection, all we need to do is go to the No Steam tab and then press the Start button and go to Add To, then select Add New Collection. From this window, you can create new collection. Once you have the collection created, then you can add the game into the collection. That's pretty much all for this one. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. As always, thanks for being here.